All right, guys, it is week 43, and uh, it's about halfway through the week now. I think today, actually, it's only Tuesday, but it feels like it's halfway through the week because it has been a long couple of days, mostly because I spent the first part of the week recording some great footage for you guys, some of the, the more exciting stuff this fall, and I just learned that it's pretty much gone to waste, so I'm having to start over from scratch for the week. Um, I'm going to try my best to salvage that footage because there is some really good stuff in it. Uh, from the sand hills and from around my house, but for now, we're gonna do some mountain stuff. See how this goes. So today is cool. It got down. The, the overnight low last night was relatively mild. It was probably in the 50s, but today the high is only gonna be around 70. And it rained even more last night. So we're gonna go try to flip some milk snakes today. Hopefully milk snakes, but uh, we'll take anything we can find. So we're gonna go hit some rocks, and I'll keep you guys posted on how this goes. All right, guys. Well, it is basically just cold outside still. I am shivering almost, um, in the shade at least, but there's a nice little sunny patch right here by these rocks. And sure enough, right there is our first snake of the day. A, what, a, I can't really tell from back here really how big it is, but that is a large timber rattlesnake up here in Northwest Georgia. Great way to start the day. We're gonna try to get some in C2 photos and we'll get a better look. Here's a look at this snake from the other side. This is a big timber. Definitely one of the biggest ones I've seen this year. What a way to start the day. Good start. Hopefully this puts a little perspective into just how big that snake is. Alright guys, well we are going to attempt to leave this snake right here in C2. Uh, she's been super cooperative for pictures, so there's not much of a reason to touch her, so we're just going to leave her right here and keep harping, see what else we can find. Great way to start the day. Well, that's a strange flip. I thought it was a ring neck at first. That is a baby black racer under this rock. In shed. This little guy is cold and very deep in shed. Pretty cool though, first snake we've actually flipped today, so I'm going to put him back and keep herping. Alright guys, well this spot doesn't seem to want to produce much else today, but uh, we're on our way back to the car and this guy is still sitting out. Coiled up outside his rock right there now. Keeping that coil that has the meal in it and the sun to digest it I suppose. But uh, Pretty cool that we got this guy here, I'm pretty excited about that, given how cool it is today. But we're going to go hit another spot and hopefully be able to turn up a milk snake there, but I'll keep you guys updated. Alright guys, we just cruised. A racer on our way out. He did want to be a rat snake. He was kinked up and sitting in a shadow. He's a little bit skinny. Pretty cool though. We've got two racers for the day now. Hello. Okay. Oh, there it is. <laughs> that was, in fact, a snake penis. It was very brief there. I don't know if you noticed it, but, uh... That's enough racer harassment. You were going that way, brother. Mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> Stay off the road. All right, guys, next snake of the day is this little black racer. This guy really gave us the run around. He went through a rock pile on the side of the road. And we just spent like the last 10 minutes trying to dig him out because we didn't know what he was in like one of these little roadside riprap things. But anyway, it's just a racer, so I'm going to put him back and we're going to keep cruising. Snakes are out, which is cool. All right, buddy. There you go. And a little baby ringneck snake right here. We're uh, ringneck harpers, you could say. Pretty cool. First one of these we've seen today, surprisingly, so I'm going to let him go and keep flipping. Alright guys, next find right down the uh, creek from that ring neck. Flip this little long tail salamander under a rock. And uh, we actually saw a couple more of them in a crack, but this is the only one I could get any footage of. But pretty cool looking salamanders. 
This is one of the only places in Georgia that they're in range of, so we're gonna get the picture of this guy and let him go and keep flipping. All right, guys, so we are walking along this bluff right here, and Ian spotted this long-tailed salamander. I'll crawl in along right here. There's that guy. And then he noticed there's a rat snake right here, right next to him. That's the first rat snake we've seen today. That's pretty cool. Just crawling along the bluff, probably hunting for salamanders, if I had to guess, so. There's water dripping on my camera. Yeah. Um, a little. like I'm back in Texas again. Shining snakes on rock faces. Well guys, it could have been a worse day. We got a nice timber rattlesnake, a couple common snakes, and some really cool salamanders. Um, I'm still bummed about that footage that I lost. What happened was uh, I updated my computer software and apparently they don't support the video file type that I was shooting in previously. So it's gonna be a huge pain. Um, I might just end up scrapping that video. It was pretty good, but I don't know if it's gonna be worth the effort. Uh, anyways, probably going to go to the sand hills in the morning with Ian, and we're going to hopefully maybe give it one last shot at finding some hognose snakes down there for the fall. So I will see you guys in the morning if we don't see anything else today. Oof. That's cold. Alright guys, we are almost to the sand hills. It is currently 59 degrees at about uh, almost 11 o'clock, so it's warming up slowly today, but... Uh, the overall high is only going to be about 70, which should make it a pretty good day to look for hognose snakes, so I'll keep you guys posted. Well, it's about nearly 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and we have not seen the first snake, so that's awesome. Great start to our day in the sand hills. It's only 65 degrees still. We knew it was going to be cool, but uh, hognoses normally move pretty cool, so we were hoping to at least see some of those. And, uh, it has not panned out yet, but we're going to keep at it. And uh, if anything changes, I will let you guys know, but the outlook is pretty bleak right now. Hello! <laughs> what? Oh, he's coming. Hi! God, they're weird looking creatures. Look how big their eyeballs are. There we go. First snake of the day, southern hognose snake. Right here next to this abomination that's going on. This guy's just fooling around on this giant tractor thing. All right, guys, that is a good first snake of the day, if you ask me. Just what we were hoping to see today, a large adult southern hognose snake. It's about 67 degrees and uh, what, 1 o'clock, 1.30? Yeah. Something like that. First snake of the day. Alright guys, well we were photographing this snake and that dude in the giant machinery, whatever that thing is, came back to ask us if we were okay, and uh, we were worried he was going to run over the snake, so we went to move it out of the road, and it started playing dead, so <laughs> here she is sitting on her back. Decent way to start the day at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I suppose. 
All right, well, that was pretty cool. We got a Simus that ended up playing dead on us a little bit, and we uh, we had to safely put it somewhere where it'll be hidden on the other side of the road from predators until it decides to come back to life. Anyways, it's getting kind of late in the day, and uh, we're going to keep cruising, and hopefully we'll be able to turn up something else here before we have to go home. All right, guys, our next snake of the day is... No, it's a Simus. It is a Simus. Just a really dark one. Nice. Second Simus of the day. He's doing the Simus scoot. <laughs> oh, they're the best. This is the best I've ever seen one do it. His tail is lifting off the ground when he does it. He <laughs> <laughs> stopped. That thing was sitting weird. I Look at him like flattening sideways, that's so weird looking. This looks like a smaller adult male. That last one was an adult female, so. Yeah. Well, with little effort, this guy is back from the dead and allowing us to take a couple photos of him before we release him right here on the uh, the right side of the road he was heading towards. So we're gonna get a couple quick pictures and let this guy go and keep cruising. Well, it took a while, but it heated up quite a bit. 72 degrees now and the snakes are apparently moving all of a sudden. So um, we probably only got another hour or so of decent light left today, but we're gonna cruise and hopefully we'll see something else. But if not, two Simons today, not too bad. Well, I'll spare you the gore, but since I last updated you, we have found three dead Southern hognose snakes on the road. It probably all got hit while we were photographing those live ones. Um, they were on a stretch of pavement that we haven't been on really much today, only once or twice. So that's a huge bummer, but I mean, they moved in force today. So anyways, we are going to keep on cruising. It's definitely winding down here. Uh, temperature's still good, but the light's fading. So I'll keep you guys posted if we see anything else. All right, guys, well, we didn't see much flipping. Uh, it was a pretty productive day overall, though. Two live southern hognose snakes was, were the only snakes we saw all day. No racers, no common stuff, but, I mean, can't complain about that. Uh, anyways, I apologize for only getting one video out this week. Like I said earlier in the video, I lost a bunch of footage that I thought was going to be really good and I was counting on. Um, I'm still going to try to get that back, but I won't be able to get it up this week either way. So I uh, will probably see you guys next in week 44. Thanks for watching.